I just peeked at something that I'm going to show you guys in a second, and there's exciting things, maybe. Um, I will spill the beans in a minute. But it is Sunday. It is a, I was going to say a leap year, which it is, or was, is, was, is, was. Um, but we had our time change thing, and my brain was not prepared because we decided to go to the latest showing of Dune, which is like a three hour long movie, possible, um, last night. <laughs> so we didn't get home until one or so in the morning. And then with the time change, that makes it like, no, it would have been later. We got out of the theater later than that. And so it was really late by the time we actually got to bed and then got doing things. So yeah, super prepared for all of the stuff. I'm trying to get this going on Instagram and it may or may not work, but we'll see. In the meantime, we have awesome people here. We have Haley. Good morning, Haley. We have Julie, Laura Rocksmith. Hey, how's it going? Sally's here. Good morning, Sally. Who else do we got? Christina. Hi, how's it going? Um, Amy, good morning. Gail, good morning. Um, yeah, it's, blah, I don't like time changes. It's already hard enough on the system when you didn't decide to be an idiot and go to movies really late, but yeah, it's a thing. So I'm like, do I eat or just do the stream and rush it? I'm like, no, I'll have food so that I'm stable and I'll have coffee so I'm awake and I can form words, which are helpful when you're streaming. Um, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> so yeah, I think it, it works out maybe better for some people, depending on where you are for time. So maybe good to switch it up every once in a while. We have Katie's here. Good morning, Katie. Hopefully you and baby, you're doing good. Um, Lizzie, good morning, Lizzie. Stephanie, good morning. Robin, good morning. Um, yeah, so sneaky, sneaky people. I'm going to go show you guys something because why not? Uh, I found it just before I posted on the stream. And so our local Briar dealer, and I'm, I only got like three seconds to look at it before um, I came here for you guys. So I didn't get to investigate all the holes, but we're going to do that now. Um, I, our local Briar dealer had codes up for blind bag stable mates and they were saying that they're new and now I see in the new section coming soon that they're stuff. So let's go look at it. Um, Briar, Briar coming soon. All right. I'll fix the size of this. So we have in the coming soon section, it looks like there is what appear to be some new families that will be for sale just on the Briar website. I'm excited to have the Cassidy mold available kind of easier. Um, these blind bags look like they're not new, but they were under a new code. So we will see if they're going to change the photos and maybe we're getting new ones or how that's going to go. Because this should be the next series. Is series four the most recent series, guys? I can't remember. But they have new blanket colors. Um, I totally <laughs> spoiled the... I keep telling them, don't do the thing on the Sunday before I do the stream. You can do it afterwards and you're probably safe. But if you load everything on the site and coming soon mm -hmm. on Sunday morning, it's not my fault. <laughs> We've seen these ones. So the arena, the English rider... Horse and Rider, the horse paint play set. Um, oh, the workshops, uh, which are coming soon. So must be sometime this week. Uh, brush box jump. Those are all ones that have been there before, but it looks like they're loading the workshops up. Uh, painting on canvas. All of them are all up in the background. That's kind of cool. I saw there's Laura Rocksmiths. Um, I saw the, which one did I see? And I got excited. I think I saw the superhero face and I was like, oh my God, maybe they're selling superhero costumes, forgetting that there is a workshop. So I might've gotten a little bit prematurely excited with the exception of these blind bags. So yeah, I think they were the TSC blind bags. You've got that right, Amy. So now they're doing it through the Briar site, which is nice because we don't have a TSC up here. We have, uh, what they call PV Mart. 
and they don't sell any of the TSC briars, but it's the same company, just the Canadian version. I don't know why they called it PV Mart, but yeah, I'm sure there's a story behind it. Uh, Amanda, good morning, Amanda. Bobby, good morning. Battling a rooster. Yes, they are little feathery dinosaurs. Not the dinosaurs weren't feathery, but still in my head, I still see scales. But anyway, roosters can be dinks. Um, let's see. I thought we should be in series six. Yeah, it's saying that's why I think this might be wrong. They, these might be placeholders because these are really old. So it doesn't make sense. And then when my local briar dealer was saying that they had new ones, they had no photos for them. Um, and they said that it was new, like a new code and everything. So maybe these are placeholders for now and maybe they're going to swap it out. Um, but maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to re have these incoming soon as new if they're not new. Okay. Uh, workshops are showing people in the lovely chat are saying they will be Tuesday at one. Um, and then we'll go from there. They probably figured that we were safe <laughs> because I was late. Maybe they did that. Maybe they loaded stuff up and they were late. And they're like, why does she keep changing the time? She keeps going later. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. I can't get Instagram showing me weird stuff when I open it. I don't like it anymore. They had a video that just popped up when I was trying to get it to link to stream, which didn't work. So that's fine. We just won't stream any Instagram right now of them doing like a cast of somebody's hand on somebody else's neck for some sort of costume or something. I'm not into that. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, let's see. Katie says I'm bowing out of Briarfest for this year. Oh yeah. It's a lot. It would be a lot with a baby and trying to get settled with all of the new life changes that must be happening in your life because a baby's like, I'm going to take your world and spin it on its head and shake it around a little bit. Not shaking the baby, just shaking your world because adults are allowed to be shaken, but not babies. Um, buy your ticket first so you don't miss out. So yeah, if you're wanting to sign up for any of the workshops, you have to have a ticket assigned to your profile before it'll let you buy the stuff. So if you're wanting to do that and get take advantage of the um, early bird access, see, I can form words way better when I have coffee and food in me. Um, if you want to take advantage of the early bird prices, you can do that. But I can't remember when it ends. I think it's the end of this month. Nobody knows. I haven't bought my tickets yet. Babies get stirred. It depends. If you're doing like the cha-cha, they probably get stirred. Or like anything. Oh, maybe belly dancing because it would like stir the baby. <laughs> Katie's like, stop, please stop. Um, I did, so I watched Dune, and if you haven't seen Dune, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it's really good, and if you can see it in the IMAX, do it, because the sound engineering is lovely, and the graphics are lovely, and the giant screen with the sandworms is the most magnificent thing, but yeah, do that. Um, Michelle, good morning, Michelle. Ah, da, 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 da. I'm trying not to miss Candice. Good morning. Um, trying not to miss the stuff. Oh, I'm not seeing some comments. There's people replying things. Oh. Haley says skipping shows for Briarfest this year, but definitely going to a workshop or two. It's hard to balance all the things that are going on, and it's going to make it even harder now that there's two events with Stone doing their own thing and amping that up. Um, I think it's going to be overwhelmed because there's already a ton to do just to Briarfest, just with Briar stuff. <laughs> like if you're wanting to show and do workshops and see all the different events that are going on and meet horses and buy things, it's nonstop crazy train. So yeah, sorry, it's, it's already a lot. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I am planning on doing some spring cleaning here soon, um, partially because I will have a whole bunch of Fireheart's Mare and Full coming. Um, Tiger Lily and Firestorm will be coming out, I'd imagine, sometime later this year. I still think they're the last release, but we'll find out. Um, just do the pricing stuff that they put out. I don't have any insider information as to when it's going to happen. It'll happen as it happens, and only Briar knows that. Um, but that would be my best guess. So I need to make some room for that, make some room for Briar things because Briar Fest and my Hakkonga 
slowly expands as you can see behind me. So I managed to find this guy, which is Alaric. He's the QVC unicorn version of Huckleberry Bay in crazy warm pearl tones with some cool blue points. And it's nice because they actually made his eye like a dark blue instead of it being a black. So it's not as soulless. I do really like that he's got purples in there too. But he's got some really cool colors going on. He has an older mold. So he's got lots of texture and stuff to him. But I really like the, the pony. And I had one at one point that um, I had purchased. And then a friend, well, it was kind of a complicated situation. But anyway, kind of had an Alaric. And then my friend got it instead. And then this one came up. And I've seen several since. And they've just been going for crazy amounts of money. And I'm trying to be good. Uh, but found him. He was a good price. So couldn't resist. So my Hapkanga now has no room. So that means I need to start thinning some things that I don't love the most. So keep an eyeball or two, one or two, doesn't matter. Cause one will probably see what I'm posting anyways. Um, for what I might be putting up for spring kind of cleaning. Um, I believe I found one Fireheart in a box that I didn't know that I had. <laughs> he was hiding somewhere. So I have one of those that I don't think I ever really even took out of the box. And then there's another one that I have up on my shelf that's just one of like a whole bunch that I had. And I've slowly been thinning them out um, either for customs or for friends or I've done giveaways before. Um, so I have one still left up there and then the one in the box will probably have two fire hearts um, that I'll have for sale. I might be selling my Adonis, um, some things like that, just picking through things. I have a Joyride that will be for sale, a resin, the traditional version. Um, and we'll see what else I get to put up, but there'll be stuff that I'll be posting at some point. We'll see how it goes. Da, 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 da. What's a tolly? I have no idea, but that seems weird. Um, let's see. Haley says, I'm planning on Darren's and Tiffany's workshops, I'd imagine. I'm trying to see what. I'm going to see what we got. Amy, I have a huck for you that need that needs you that I'll bring to Briarfest. Okay, I won't turn down hucks. I like hucks. Um, I have not a complete conga, and it will probably never be a complete conga. I'm just aiming for the ones that I like. Um, so I don't have any of the color crazy ones. I sat out on the Christmas ones because he's just not the colors weren't my thing and I'm trying to be a little more picky or else there'll be 500 shelves and 500 horses and my brain will just melt. So, and then I'll be like, but I don't have any room and I like the pretty one, but I don't like the blue one. Eh. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I guess on that note, I'll be posting those probably, I don't, maybe I'll do it through my page, but I have Joyride posted to the Rare Model Horse group, and then I'll probably do the Fireheart at some point. I'll send links out to people when I do it, because I can't think about exactly where I'm going to post them, because there's so many different options, and I know that Model Horse sales pages was down yesterday so that makes it a little harder to post stuff there so we'll figure it out might be um might be a thing that we will work on figure it out uh is anybody else going to briar fest this weekend oh briar west i was like briar fest isn't this weekend um, yeah, so Briar Fest is this weekend, which is Cray or Briar West. Damn it. Briar West is this weekend. Um, we'll see how that all goes. It should be a crazy, awesome, fun time for people. I'm not going to that particular event, but I know a lot of you guys are. 
Um, I was going to check if the model horse sales pages. And I did get a new keyboard that is slightly less clicky because I got epoxy underneath the keys because they were too clicky. Oh, no. Model horse sales pages is still down. Hmm. Okay. So we don't have model horse sales pages. Model horse place. Model horse place is still working, um, but the sales pages is down. So that makes it a little bit more complicated. Um, we'll see. Maybe I'll post to Facebook. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It'll be fine. It's only slight crazy. Um, yeah. Should be fun. My brain's now dying because it's run to the end of its little chain and it's like ah, i can't go anywhere i did finish watching avatar it is really good and it was renewed for two more seasons so that's on netflix if you like the airbender legend of korra any of that stuff um the live action was pretty good so can't complain um i have the extras of the medallion club medallion um for stickers so the crazy, awesome, super sparkly, ridiculous, glitter-tastic Lisa Frank Mustang wild thing that's just, like, too much, but just enough. Extras of those that are up for club members to purchase. Um, and then any club members that want to buy additional of the medallion for this month <coughs> can do that. Pardon me. Um, through the links that I sent you. So if you did not get those links, email me and I will fix that. Um, otherwise, he retires at the end of this month. New members can sign up and still get that particular medallion. Um, and when you sign up as a new member, you get the sticker with it too if there's extras. So in this case, I saved some for you guys. Um, that ends on the 16th. So the 16th is next Saturday. So next Saturday the club will close down again and it'll be closed for the two months or well, one and a half months. And then it'll open up again in May, beginning of May. So, and that'll be our pony fest box. I believe May, June, no, the May, June box will be our pony pony fest box. And with me going to pony fest, I want to do something special. So we'll see how it goes. All right. I have not seen, um, the thing. Ah, where to go? My thought was right there. Ah, it's gone. See, I, I mentioned that I'm doing well on the coffee and then my brain's like, oh, you noticed we're not doing that anymore. Um, I cannot remember what my train of thought was going to be. I got distracted by looking at the dates. So yeah, I have not seen. I will remember it later and I will be very angry with myself because that's just how that works. Um, I will show you my happy teapot instead because why not? <laughs> See if I remember my train thought. This one I wanted to kind of show you guys because it's really, really cute. I saved it from a second, um, like the Facebook marketplace type thing because look, I'm going to put brushes in it. And sculpting tools and it's going to be all sassy and wonderful it's a mako sassy teapot and it well it's not a teapot just a, a container canister but i'm not a huge fan of yellow but it is cute and it was too sassy to leave behind and it can judge me when i don't make art so that is the thing still don't remember what my train of thought was but that's fine Ah, oh, medallion. No, that's not jogging anything. And I got questions says who retires? I missed it. I don't know who retires. Me, one day, maybe. We'll see how it goes. Um, it does need a face or like googly eyes. It would be wonderful. Hi, Julia. Um, it does. So it definitely reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. And I love it. They have teapots and other kitchen things that are of the same kind of feel. And maybe one day I will have to add them. We will see. 
so yeah, uh, Briar West should be fun. I will see if there's reviews or posts or something, and I will post more about that once we get there for next, well, next weekend it'll still be happening, so maybe not next weekend. I do plan on doing, my brain's still trying to figure out what I was trying to think about before. Uh, I still plan on doing um, the Tater time payments. So there's going to be 20 more that I will be opening up for spots. I'll do it the same way that I did before, where there's going to be a form that pops up. It's going to come up today. Um, I'm going to have that form available until Wednesday. And then I will start drawing names. So probably Wednesday or Thursday, I'll draw names. Um, I'm going to see if anybody freaks out about the time period and then we'll go from there because three days is not a long time, but it's still enough time to get your name in if you submit it. So as long as you're not totally spaced for the whole three days, um, but there'll be the 20 more spots and then that will be it for time payments for our cowboy tater version. So that's the normal, this guy, the normal one. So he will have 20 more spots for time payments, and then that's it. There will be time payment spots for the other two guys um, when they become available. I hopefully will have them ready for molds at some point. They're basically there now. I just have to do a couple of refinements. Um, we have somebody that's been helping in the casting shop, um, which is helping Chris out quite a bit, and they're able, their quality is really, really good. So we're getting a lot of um really good castings quicker which is nice uh and taters just so well behaved for knock on all the wood for casting which is nice and for cleaning so we have people that are helping with casting and cleaning of tater and i am working on biters which are slowly still going out the door but it's it's a process um canadian buffering wheel <laughs> a took what other weird words do we say? Mm, about, about, about? I don't know how you Americans say it. I say it normal. You guys say it weird. Uh, <laughs> hockey, poutine, um, nougat. Was that a weird one? Can't remember. Uh, what's like Canadian slang? Beaver hair paint brushes. Nobody knows. Um, <laughs> everybody's like Canadian buffering wheel. The sugar container, that's what the sassy thing reminds me of. Yes, yes, that is exactly it. Where it's like with the, yes, that. Um, we do actually say A in conversation fairly frequently, and I will type it sometimes as well. So it's a thing. Oh, I think retired comment was about the latest medallion retiring at the end of the month. Oh, yeah. So the, thank you. Sally, greatly appreciated. So the thing that's retiring is the new medallion. It's only orderable for club members until the end of this month, but you can't hop into the club and order it. Like if you were to join the next round, you can't order this guy because he'll be retired at the end of this month. So if you want him, you got to join up and then add him to your thing. So that's the thing, just to keep it, because I can't keep the club open all the time. I did that for a while and people were joining in different months and it just, destroyed my brain cells. It is already hard enough when we have so many people in the hobby that use multiple emails, multiple names, multiple everything. So you have like 17 different things associated with one person. And it's like multiple emails that are contact emails, multiple emails that are PayPal emails. Sometimes there's a husband email in there somewhere or a partner email somewhere. And then they run under like 17 different nicknames. And it's like, I can't keep track of it. You guys don't make it easy on my poor little artist brain that just wants to make pretty ponies. Yeah, it's, it's funny because I'll be untangling things. And my brain's like, okay, so that's this and that's there. And this is over there. And they want to get contacted by this email, but only some PayPal goes here. And then other PayPal goes there and their clubs under this one, but then their names, this one. And then they email me with that name. And then it's this name and then it's over there. And by the time I've untangled the, the stuff, my brain's like, that's all it does. It just like my eyes glaze over and there's a flat line and there's no thoughts. Nothing is just done. 
<sighs> so maybe one day that'll get easier. Maybe one day I'll find like the magic sauce because right now all the club stuff is through PayPal, which I may or may not change at some point, but it's through PayPal. And then um, it ends up going and I manually enter everything into a spreadsheet and keep track of it on a spreadsheet because PayPal doesn't easily output stuff in a way that makes sense to my brain. So I'm manually having to enter all the things. And then if I'm getting different emails from it's crazy, it's crazy. You guys don't always make it easy on me. Some of you do, but some of you are very, very challenging. Um, and that's why on the newer invoices too, I've been putting that PayPal payments not associated with a specific invoice. That's not allowed to happen anymore. <laughs> You're not allowed to just send a payment not associated with something um, unless we've specifically discussed it because the payments that come in just generically get filtered out because they're usually for the club. Um, and it's very challenging to figure out when there's 15 different names and 17 different emails, what is associated with what in a way that makes it easier on my brain. And the more we like me, flatline my brain the less stuff gets done especially if it doesn't need to happen we don't need to kill my brain please please take it easy on it so yeah no thoughts only bodies <laughs> it is kind of horrifying julia there's there's days where i'm like i don't know if i want to do the art thing if it's associated with the admin thing because there's just it's very complicated and then trying to yeah anyway I do my best. So if there's things that come up and it's like, oh, well, this didn't work. It, yeah. E email me and I will try and untangle things. Um, and sometimes mistakes are made, but I try and fix them as quickly as I can. And I sometimes need a little bit of help. But yeah, that's my life. It's all the crazy things. Beaver hair paintbrushes. It's, you could use mousse, but mousse isn't as soft. So... We're just gonna, yeah, skip right over that. Um, need a personal assistant. I don't know that anybody wants to take that on. I do have a potential lined up for that. So with helping with the admin things. So we'll see. Um, fingers crossed. It works. It'd be really, really cool. Um, Cause it would be nice to be able to like with the casting and the cleaning a little bit more off my plate it would be nice to focus on making the art, making the customs, making the medallions, making the resin ponies. Um, once we get through a little bit more of the biter stuff, um, which I'm very, very close on, then I will have some updates on our lovely draft unicorn who happened to break his horn. So that happens. It's a thing. So I'll fix that. Um, yeah. Ta -da. <laughs> There's always so many things going on. Like I've got buckets of in-progress stuff. And you guys saw last time the rainbow love unicorn and the Namo Pimo horse. And I've got like 15 different things. Well, more than 15. I would say there's probably like a lot. Way more than I care to admit of all the different things that are in progress. But I'm really excited to get back into a lot of that. I think that'll be really cool. Does not surprise me that I'm doing 5 million things. Is that a thing? Hey, Karen. Um, yeah, so I wanted to make sure that I mentioned the tater time payment thing. So I'll post a uh, social media post and send an email out with information on that and the next batch, which will be available next weekend. Um, I will put those up for sale. I will probably do it on Saturday. I'm going to make a new... Remember to do um, Saturday, and then that allows me to not be scrambled for the stream. We're thinking with our noodle today. Yes, it is a thing. Hi, Christine. Um, he did break his horn. I'm not going to say that on the thing because I'll get booted from all the YouTubes for swearing. Can't say that word. The bomb bomb behind something. Ew. Uh, those bucket of, yes, it is, yeah. let's see if I can redirect you, 
So that bucket there, you, this is a one six scale horse. That's the fire heart I found. Um, that bucket right there is full of various in progress things. And then there's a whole bunch of clay progress things. Um, and that's all I'm going to show you for now. I'm going to just put you right back so I don't give away any secrets. Um, yeah, but it's a whole bin full of stuff. There's so many things. But the unfortunate thing about the sad abandoned bin of lost souls, um, they would probably need so much updating that I don't think I could just update them. I would probably need to restart them. And I have Turbo, who happened to fall over into the thing of candy apparently i don't know how that happened or when that happened but his face is buried in the candy box so there's that too <laughs> he's like i give up i need snacks because the real turbo is on a diet so maybe he's channeling through his like voodoo clay doll thing be like find the snacks yes he did want snacks um we have noodles. Yeah, my noodle is scrambled. I'm sure. I don't think I would have been able to survive baby brain because chemo brain was bad, but baby brain would just be all rattled. So that's the thing. Um, but yeah, so I'll do the next batch of taters, which will be at least 15. Um, I might stick it at 15 because then I can do the last batch of 15 and then we're done for the run. Um, instead of doing a small batch of five or 10, which would be not a lot. So yeah, it'll be tater time pays. I'll put that up today. I'll post about it. Um, lotto style like we did before where I randomly draw names from the people that are entered. Um, you can only enter once. You can't enter for time payment and do a paid in full or having won a paid in full one and already bought it. You can't also get a time payment one. It's still limited to one per person. I might change that limiting factor at the end. Um, we'll see. We'll see how sales go. I still want to keep it fair because I know there's still a lot of people that want one and haven't been able to get one. Oh my God, Andrea! Yes! Okay. Sorry for the scream, but I'm going to put it on the thing. I screamed out loud. So Brandon Sanderson, right after Facebook went down for half an hour, he had planned his stream and he is the master of extra. So he'd planned his stream and for the longest time he had a clock in his background that said 631. Then he had more than one clock that said 631. And then they kept adding clocks that said 631. They never changed. The time was always on the same time. He then had numbers on his shelf behind him that said 631. And so people were trying to figure out what 631 meant. His 631st stream was coming up. It happened to be the stream that he was doing or... Yeah, the stream that he was doing to release his Kickstarter backer kit. Uh, do I have that open somewhere? I will pull it up because it's nuts. Uh, so he had his ba holy crap. Um, he had his backer kit released for Words of Radiance, which is the second novel in his um, nah, Stormlight Archive. I remembered it. Aha. Series of books. I really, really like this series of books. It's my one of my favorites um, by Brandon. I think probably my favorite. I really liked Elantris. I really liked Warbreaker. I'm starting to like Mistborn a little bit more. Um, I had a resentment against a death of a character. And it apparently turns out that that was Moot. So anyway, <laughs> I read further in the book and it made sense. And I was less mad. Um, but yeah, so he released this. Gets to the end of the stream. And in exactly 6 minutes and 31 seconds, he just stares uncomfortably at the camera just stares he's like okay hey, this is the thing and then just stares at you and then slaps a manuscript down on his table and i'm sorry if i'm spoiling this for you but you've had a week to look so it's a thing slams a manuscript down on his table and says and i might have written another secret novel so there you go <laughs> uh his campaign i'm going to show you in a second 
is. And these are the leather bounds, so they're not, they're obviously a higher price point than your normal um, book. And so this is the beautiful leather bound with all the gildy prettiness. Um, they do do different, um, different colors on there because there's different categories you fit into because my brain has now decided it wants to just die orders of radiant so i fall into the Lightbringer format you can take a quiz on his website to figure out which one you would fall into if you want to my first books match or are of the light weaver ones so i'll probably do my second as the light weaver because you gotta and then if you get the bigger packs you end up with um swag for that particular radiant order so he had a $2 million goal to get funded, and this is through Backer Kit, not Kickstarter. Um, and he's already at $17,484,693. That is an insane amount of money that he's managed to kind of accrue. Uh, there's 19 more days left, and there's almost 60,000 people that have backed it. So it's not a lot of backers for that much money, but that's why we said the leather bounds are a little bit more expensive. Um, let's see. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Your uh, order would be on the front cover there. There's the new secret project. He's not going to release it, but it looks like it might be purple, which is exciting. Um, they'd be shipping in 2025. And then you can get different Sanderson curiosities that come in the different packages. So obviously if you get the really expensive one with all the different radiant orders, it's a lot of money. Um, they're usually about a hundred dollars per leather bound from his normal stores. So these ones are smaller editions because they'll be making only whatever for that particular radiant order. So for light bringers, um, it's going to be only so many. And then, um, each individual class, which I wish, I don't know if he actually releases the amounts per book, but you can get the ebook versions for not too much. If you just want the secret book, like 10 bucks for the digital copy, which is not too bad at all. And then his radiant packs come with pins and a coin and stickers and all sorts of cool stuff. There'll be more pins with all of um, the different spren, which is really cool. And then disclaimers on shipping and other stuff. So, yeah, I screamed. So excited. I have not backed the project yet. Uh, it's very challenging. I haven't bought Briar Fest tickets or die. I mean, yeah. I even cut my own hair because I was like, we're just not going to spend money on the things because it's crazy when your electrical bills are ridiculous. Um, but yeah, it's a thing. So, we'll see. I will try and back it and whatever way I can manage and then I will buy my Briar Fest tickets and all that rest of the stuff. As you guys know, it's hard to balance all the things and artists aren't the best at balancing the budgets, but that's okay. Um, yeah. So if you are into fantasy books and epic fantasy style stuff, Brandon Sanderson's a great author. Um, he writes books that have really cool magic systems in them, usually really good morals in them, which is nice to see. Um, Tress of the Emerald Sea is not connected to anything, so it's kind of a nice book to play with. It's a little different than as usual. Um, Warbreaker is a really good book to start with, too. Uh, Lantris is not necessarily for everybody. Way of Kings is really good, but it's kind of a commitment we're into a lot of books, and they're big, thick books. But if you want to get a taste for it, you can do that too. And he's available on Audible and Graphic. What is it? Graphic Audio, I think is the company name. And they do it kind of movie style, but it's all auditory. So they have sound effects and different characters that play or different people that play the different characters with different voices. So it's kind of cool. Yes, do the quiz. Figure out the order. Maybe we're light bringers together. Um, yeah, the swag's gonna be ridiculous. Money does suck. Um, and he doesn't write two books of a trilogy and never release them. Like, um, Patrick, I'm so mad. Patrick Rothfuss is another 
amazing author that wrote two books of a three book series and then wrote the two and then he's written like other little ones that are kind of around it but he's not done the last one and it was so good and then it just makes you mad mm. but anyway that's another tale for another time where people who have followed the game of thrones thing where he's like i'm just not gonna write the last book it's fine we're not gonna finish it the the tv series ruined it so why finish it now oh so mad but anyways that's another thing for another day uh what else did i have to talk to you guys about i'm gonna be putting up like i said some things for spring cleaning making some room um and then maybe being able to buy my brand new sanderson books and briar fest tickets nobody knows uh but i have like i said joyride i have two fire hearts and whatever else i might find in my treasure troves of the things so i will post more about that soon Time payments will go up soon for the lottery page. I'll do it the same way where you just enter on the website um, once per person. Once. Don't make Raven's job any harder than it needs to be. I'll make sure that the email confirmation is turned on from the beginning this time. So that when you enter it, it'll send you a confirmation email right away. I didn't have it on at the beginning last time because, yeah. So that was my fault. Cheese! I made no more cheese. Oh, no, I did. I made ricotta because I made butter. I actually did want to mention that. So I had several rabbit holes this time, um, this week. I looked at book binding. I made butter. And then Facebook tried, kind of bullied me into soap making. Or at least going down the rabbit hole of what that even looks like. And it's a giant rabbit hole because everything's a giant rabbit hole. Um, but butter, I would highly suggest because butter here is like $10 for a thing of butter. It's ridiculous. So you can buy whipped cream and you can put it in a stand mixer or use a hand mixer or put it in a jar and shake it and whipped cream will make butter and it will be better than your butter that you buy from the store. And it's even better if you culture it. And all you have to do to do that is put a little bit of probiotic yogurt that's plain in the whipping cream, mix it around, leave it on your counter for a day, two days, three days max. Um, and it'll ferment and build up those good bacterial cultures that are going to support your gut and all that good stuff. It'll make the butter a little bit tangy. And then you just whip it like normal. Look it up on anywhere where there's a video and it's super, super, super easy. It's a little messy if it's not a contained process. So just put like saran wrap or a towel over your stand mixer. But so good. Butter's so good. And it's way cheaper, especially if you can get the whipping cream on sale. So should do like Raven's money saving tips of the week. Cut your own hair because that's like, I don't know, 80 bucks depending on where you go. And I have curly hair, so I try and go to the curly hair place. But I just do this with it. So fuck it. Um, and then make your own butter. It's delicious. It's better for you. And it's cheaper. So win win. And you can always freeze it, um, portion it out however you want to. There's butter mold you can buy. You can just make little dollops i made um doom slug butter <laughs> and it makes me happy because they're really cute and then yeah you just freeze it you're good you pull it out when you need it it's the best tasting stuff ever and then you just add a little bit of um salt to it once you've mixed it all up um the tutorials online will show you how to do that and then from the butter milk that you have left you can add a little bit of milk and cream to that just to give it a little bit more of the stuff you need add vinegar um when you raise it up to a certain temperature i think it's 80 degrees uh yes look it up but it's a thing so you can take the buttermilk and make ricotta out of it is where i'm getting at and then from the ricotta you would be left with whey and that whey is like whey protein so like the protein powders you'd buy you can add it to your smoothies you can add it to soups it's really good it's got lots of nutrients in it it's got protein in it so you can make like three things from whipped cream that aren't whipped cream, but you can also sample the whipped cream before it turns into butter. Super pro tip. Um, yeah, so you can shake it in a mason jar if you want to make butter, like Katie's saying, and it's really, really good. But cultured butter is amazing. Ah, Amy, you guys are like enablers. Amy's saying if you look into royalty soaps on YouTube um, and you want to do a cold making process, she has videos. So I might have ordered lye. Maybe they had it on sale on Amazon. Um, so I'm going to try it. We will see. 
it seems like a really big rabbit hole of all of the things. And my husband's very picky about soap because he doesn't like the soap that leaves you squeaky clean and you can't be greasy. So there's got to be like a happy middle point and there's different oils you can use and different like ratios of stuff to make your soap optimal for your skin type, which is what a lot of people seem to be doing. And then you can make it fun and smelly and with all the different things in it. Um, but a lot of people are using different fats to mix with lye and then adding some fats afterwards. It's quite the, quite the thing, but <laughs> Rock Smith's like pens. Don't even go there with the pens. I'm not talking to the pens right now. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Jody. So we're just ranting about stuff. I covered the pony things earlier. Sorry. <laughs> it is a slippery, yeah, for the slippery getaway when you like re-oiled your soap. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But you can also put things like butter and soap into molds. And I have the ability to make sculptures that make molds. So we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, cool. I will definitely check that out, Amy. That's very cool. Uh, on the pen front, I did not get too excited. Um, I had my Timu pens that I ordered that are just like cheap fountain pens and they work really well actually. So if you want a cheap pen to start with Timu, I think this one was maybe 10 bucks and my other ones were, nope, that's not bad. my other ones were like two bucks, three bucks each. And these ones actually have converter fill so you can fill it with whatever ink you want, which is kind of nice, but that is a thing. I am really enjoying the drawing with them. Um, the Kakuno Extra Fine, this guy, which has a little smiley face with a tongue on it. There you go. He is lovely to write with. You can get like the finest little hairline that you almost can't even get from the little micron brushes, like the, the felt tipped ones that people use for manga and whatever. Um, and it has a variation so you can push on it a little bit and get a little bit bigger of a line and then activate the ink with water. So I posted the pictures that I'd done some sketches of and played with water. I'll probably cut those up because um, it's one big sheet and there's four on it. I'll probably divide those up and then maybe put them in the spring sale. We'll see how it goes. There might be other ones that pop up too. Because it's fun and People like original art, so we'll just do some sketchy things. Uh, you can get all sorts of crazy things. This world is full of amazing people doing amazing things, and everything's a giant rabbit hole of awesome. And I highly recommend, if you're feeling down, go find a new rabbit hole. Because it's very inspiring, and it's very enlightening. Because you'll see people charged up about whatever hobby it is. Like if it's fountain pens or it's soap making or it's people growing gardens. Um, yeah, there's just so much awesome to this world and people and humans doing amazing things that it's refreshing to look at that instead of the crud sometimes. Like you still need to kind of be aware of what's going on around you and be part of our democracy and all the rest of the stuff. We won't get into the political things, but be aware of what's going on around you, but also be connected to source and to all the goodness that happens because humans are pretty kind of cool. Like, if you think about it, we do really neat things and we like really shiny things and there's really pretty colors and I don't know. It rejuvenates me and hopefully it rejuvenates you. Maybe that's why you come here and hang out with me. So, that's the thing. Um, so I, on that note, we'll let you guys go. I will put up the uh, time payment stuff for you and then we'll see where we go from there. So yeah, I'll post more information on that so that people don't have to be scrolling and waiting through all the soap talk <laughs> and pen talk and Santa talk to get here. So I love you. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for those of you that come every week and then stick with me to the end um, and <laughs> encourage me and enable me to talk about all the rabbit holes and the shiny things and the soap and the crazy. Um, but I think it's really cool and it's so fun because a lot of the homemade stuff is actually so much more, not only is it cool, but it's just better for you. And a lot of times it's just better in general. And they don't tell you this stuff. They don't tell you that you feel better eating food that you made yourself. Like pasta I eat doesn't make me feel that like, or pasta I make from scratch doesn't make me feel that gross, you know, carby, 
oh my god, I just ate so much pasta, I want to explode and barf everywhere. And I don't know. There's just something about it. I don't know. We're not being told the whole truth about all the stuff, I don't think. I think that there was a lot of cool stuff that happened and that we can reconnect with that's really cool. So I will let you guys go. Have a wonderful week. Do not feed the trolls. They are still on their endless diet. And we feed the things that we like, not the things that we don't like. So don't don't feed them. Maybe they'll learn and they'll turn into not trolls and cocoon eyes and turn into beautiful things that participate in society, not like trolls. So we'll see. But don't feed them. They don't need snacks. See you next Sunday. And I will have some more fun stuff for you then. Love you guys. Bye.